so on my series of things to do in Antigua I've saved the best beach till last I'm going to go down Big Tree Drive and to the most beautiful beach on the island yeah definitely is the best stay tuned
I love they do all these cook-offs but now you see these cook-offs a lot around the island and you can oh, there's people enjoying the sea down there you can absolutely just pull over and go and order yourself some food so don't be shy about doing that I when I first got here I was a little bit nervous about it because it always looked to me like it was a private party um, but I was talking to a lady in sweaters who, who owned one and she said no Just look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. Now you'll see there is a resort at the other end. I'm going to assume that's Curtain Bluff still. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it must be. So I, I don't really understand why they would come on this side of the beach, not the side I showed you, which was beautiful. Now, Morris Bay, as you can see over there, there's a blue block. Uh, last year they were building that. I think it's toilets and showers. There's definitely going to be toilets. Uh, I was a bit worried that it would mean this place got busy, but no. It's still lovely and deserted. They've done a lot of work here actually, they've tidied it up a lot. I hope it never loses its rustic feel. It's just so beautiful here, I love it. I've just had a lovely dip in the sea. It's so warm in there. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I just absolutely love this place. I have to, I have to rank it as one of the best beaches here in Antigua. I really do. Now, what makes this a great beach is you can pull your car right up, so you can park on the beach practically. Where that you parked your car, there's trees, and there's also trees along the sides here. So there's shade. And on a, lo a lot of these beaches don't always have shade, so it's quite nice here, especially if you're going to spend the whole day here. And you don't want to be sat in this place in the sun for eight hours. Um, it's also nice, they've put a couple of little benches out and umbrellas. That's a nice touch. Lovely. Just lovely. Now getting into the water, 
it can be a bit rocky along the edge but there are gaps like where I'm sat here just by the block it's quite easy to walk into and further up where we park the car there's a spot you can get into but I mean it's not an issue it's just some people are funny about walking over the slippery box I mean you're only going to fall in the water but you know if you're funny about that then just find the spot uh, snorkeling snorkeling here is brilliant I've seen starfish oh god last year I saw like a million cuttlefish it was absolutely stunning and if you go to that part there where the rockeries stick it out it's teeming with fish it's a snorkeler's paradise here it really is uh, one word of caution about the water it's fine if you're a strong swimmer but it does have a current through it so if you swim and you swim from here in that direction when you swim back it's blooming hard work but, you know, it, it's not that it's not like super strong or anything like that, but it it does carry you down that direction. But uh, there is no negative to this place; it's beautiful. So definitely, you must come here. You must must come here. No, I actually don't come here. I don't want people to come here. I like coming here on my own. I'm selfish like that. I hope you can see this. This is the other thing I absolutely love about this thing. The cows just come down for a drink. They just wander on down and have a drink. And then they'll go back in a minute. Oh, isn't it fabulous? I love the Caribbean. It's just awesome. Okay, so we're leaving Morris Bay now. And uh, I'm going to go the long way home and show you a couple of the other beaches up here. Because it's always worth seeing where everything is. And you've got a, a, a little food joint there. Um, and then Gina's was here because she, like I said, I think she's closed. Let's go. Yeah, so yeah, Gina's cook shop's there. What a shame. I would have had my lunch there. She's absolutely fabulous. We've got, oh, they've got a new ice cream place as well. Ooh. So they're definitely trying to improve this area and get more people here. Oh, look where the cows are. Oh, great, they've put a play area there for the kids. And some drinks. Oh, that is fantastic. Def this, that's definitely a beach you have to go to. It is the best. Everyone's overtaking me because I'm too busy talking. Um, I have to say, Morris Bay area itself is I, I, I just, it's such a lovely place. It's like a really nice community. If I, uh, this is a place that if I ever did get my the beauty 
you get if you live in those houses. Beautiful round here. Just look at those cacti there. Beautiful. Oh, look at the view as we come over the hill. So this is Turner's Beach. So as we drove in and I first pointed it out to you, that's where most people go. And there's like a cafe in that building there. There's another cafe further off. We tend to get more people there, but if you come down a bit where I've just parked and walked over, it's quiet. But there is a guy on the end and he hires out some beds, umbrellas. So if you want some shade, or you want to spend a long time here, you've got that option. He also has windsurfing equipment. And I'm, I think, I'm not sure if he's got kayaks or they're all windsurfing equipment, but that's an option as well. And they are building something here. So it looks like there'll be more options for day beds. And stuff. Like I said, they're really doing it up down this end of the island. Nobody will go the other side. So last year, over by those rocks, my brother went to fish there. So he went out fishing and I went in the water. And it is quite a drop when I went in at that point. I stood on a stingray. Oh, he did hurt me. Just frightened me and frightened him. But it just goes to show. So here, he was a biggie as well. Right near the shore. It's lovely. Another great beach. Thank you. 
tour of the beaches on the west side. So that's our tour of the beaches on the west side. I hope you enjoyed that. So I really do recommend drive down this way. Get, you've got to see Fig Tree Drive. It's just amazing. It's so green. It's so lush. It's so beautiful. And then you've got all those beaches. So thank you for watching and uh, I will see you again soon.